Okay, Alexander is now Connor. Okay, well, I guess if Puff Daddy can become Diddy and Prince can say he's that squiggly thing, but I'm worried about what's underneath. Clark, remember why or not this kid tried to kill you? Look, his name is not the only thing that changed. Connor has. He's only half Lex, it turns out. What? Okay, well, if you say the other half is Tess, I'm gonna officially write that family off for good. Lois, the other half is me. Are you trying to tell me that Connor is the genetic love child of Clark Kent and Lex Luthor? You don't have to say it like that. Does he have your powers? I can honestly say I have no idea how I'm supposed to be feeling about this. Well, all that matters is that we have a kid in the barn and he's really freaked out. He doesn't feel like he belongs anywhere. He needs our help. Clark, we don't know what he's capable of. Lois, I understand that I'm asking you to take on a lot. No, I knew when I signed up for the Clark Kent tour package that it would be full of surprises. But how is Lex able to shake up a human crypto cocktail without you realizing it? He had a vial of my blood stolen from Helen Bryce's office years ago. We thought we destroyed it, but Lex must have kept a sample. After he engineered Alexander, he thought that my DNA would stop the accelerated mitosis, and it worked. Lois, because of me, this kid has no chance of having a normal life. No, hold on, Chicken Little. How do we know that Connor wouldn't love to be the only kid on the block more powerful than a locomotive? What? Sometimes I forget that you never saw what it was like. Growing up, being different, feeling like an outsider, like a freak, like you were all alone. You turned out pretty normal. Lois, well, so you don't understand, it never goes away. It's always in there. The only thing that's ever made me feel Normal as you. Connor is not alone. He has a 